Listening to the flip side with Noah Philippiad, connecting the reality of the gospel to the grid of life. You can support the podcast and pick up some sweet flip side swag at www.patreon.com slash Noah Philippiad. What is up, Flip Eponymi? Welcome to episode 78 of the Flip Side Podcast. I wanted to make today a real episode, an actual episode 78 and not make this into a five-minute flip just because I wanted to make sure uh, this this news update got out to everyone who gets listens from, from different places. Uh, but I'm going to be taking uh, somewhat, I, I, I mean, not somewhat, and I'm going to be taking a podcast sabbatical. I say indefinite. Uh, I, I, I will be back. I just need some time to get a little breathing room. It might be a very short sabbatical. I might... <laughs> You may not even, you may not even miss me, because uh, uh, maybe it'll be in a month. Uh, episodes, full episodes, will be back on. I don't know. It might be a few months. Uh, I just need some time to get a little breathing room. I have a lot going on in my life, and basically, I am really good at starting things, and then those things grow, and like little babies, they become larger. <laughs> And they require more food and care. And uh, and so I'm just in a discernment phase right now. Uh, I've, it, it's funny because we can brag about the things we're overcommitted to when it's our own lack of boundaries, lack of self-care, lack of limits. Uh, you know, that's that's gotten us into that's gotten us into the situation that we're in. And I do this every once in a while, uh, where I, I bite off more than I can chew, or the things I start get get too large. So yes, I am uh, pastoring Mosaic Church. We I've been working on this the church plant in Grand Rapids. Uh, I've been working on it now for 18 months. That's pretty wild. Time is going by really, really fast. Um, two years ago or so, I also founded a church planting network called New Humanity. You can check that out, newhumanity.info. And it's a multi-ethnic church planting network. And the, 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 the goal is to plant multi-ethnic churches that do urban community development. And it's been wonderful. We have a great team of other pastors that I work with on that. Mosaic is the first church plant. I, it is a really exciting vision that God has given us, and as far, as far as my my long term life, what I want to work on for the next forty years, it's this. Uh, but it's starting to grow and get a little scary. Uh, we've we've used uh, new humanity funding that we've raised for in Mosaic. We've been able to hire uh, staff, and we've been able to get the ball rolling on some urban community development um, small business loans, and. It's, it's scary when something grows from infancy into something more real. And so I won't spare you. I won't give you all the details here. But, you know, we're just doing some more formal things. Uh, have a workshop scheduled and uh, bringing in some more donors and donor churches. And, you know, so you start thinking about things like, well, what would our next church plant be beyond uh, the one that I, that I planted? And uh, as well as you're involving people's lives now that... Uh, you're potentially doing small business loans too. And so things are just getting bigger beyond the battle. Uh, so those of you, uh, listening know I've got beyond the battle, uh, but it's much more than a book. We do online groups that turn into alumni groups and we have a really, uh, what's the word? Robust, fruitful alumni community, uh, beyond the battle right now. And I love it. Uh, and I invite you into it. We have some open groups right now that we need we need to get some more guys into at beyondthebattle.net. Once you go through that seven week group, you're in the alumni group forever for free. And we're we're adding some retreats. We have a retreat. We did one in Grand Rapids, which is where I live, and we have one coming up in June at Yosemite National Park near Fresno, California. We're very excited about. But all this stuff takes work, and. Uh, you know, it's funny, silly putty. I did a Noah's rant on, uh, recently on how I love it. And it's amazing. 
but it is sort of in my analogy. This will be if, if there's a topic for today, it's on self care. Some of you, some of you need to hear this. We all are a ball of silly putty. If you're if you're watching on YouTube, you can see my majestic silly putty in my hand, and you know we start to stretch ourselves with the commitments that we make. I'm planting a church. I'm I'm leading you know new humanity. I'm doing beyond the battle groups. Oh, it just broke. <laughs> Right. Like you can only stretch silly buddies so far. Oh, I do a podcast and I'm writing books until it breaks. You can it can only spread so far. We we have limits just like silly putty does. And some of you don't struggle with this at all. You might be on the other end of the spectrum. Uh, there's sloth is a sin in the Bible. It's sloth is actually a word used, uh, at least in the old King James. I don't know if the NIV and in. Uh, ESV and, and, and others still use sloth, but that's a pretty fun sin name. Uh, that's a sin, sloth, laziness, but so is workaholism. And uh, I, I'm doing pretty good with not working in the evenings and weekends, spending time with my family, things like that. But uh, I'm not doing good with managing my own energy uh, during the workday. And when you have demands coming from five different directions, you kind of just look at all five and then collapse in the middle. <laughs> and so anyway, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm discerning, talking to my counselor, saying, hey, speak into my life. I want to be wise. Uh, I know this isn't good and sustainable. And so um, what, what I'm, I'm just seeing what I can reconfigure, where I can get a little breathing room. One of those things right now is going to be just taking a break from the podcast. Uh, some of you are Patreon supporters. I very much appreciate you. And I just I want you to know I'm planning, you and all, all listeners as well, I am planning to continue doing five-minute flips uh, periodically. I would greatly appreciate your continued support if you're able uh, to do that. And for those of you that don't know what five-minute flips are, you have to subscribe. So we don't put them on YouTube. I don't email them out. I don't even put them on my social media. You have to subscribe to the audio feed. So for this next period of time, if you want to keep getting new content from the flip side, whether it's your Apple podcast, Google podcast, you can do it on Spotify, Amazon Music, probably a few others. Go to Podbean. That's That Podbean is uh, my host, podbean.com or the Podbean app. You can get it there. And subscribe to the audio feed. And periodically, I put out little five-minute flips. Sometimes they're five minutes. Other times, they're closer to 20 of things God has put on my heart. And they're easy. So so why am I going to keep doing those, even though I'm on a podcast sabbatical? Because they're easy. They're short. They require no editing. They require no, um, no graphics, no scheduling, no interviews. I don't have to read anybody's book. I don't have to write out the questions from the book. And so, uh, again, I'm gonna and I'm gonna be reevaluating all, all this kind of stuff. I, in fact, I'd appreciate your feedback if you're listening and you're a you're a regular, avid Flipside listener. My email for the podcast is podcast at beyondthebattle.net, and I'd love to get your general feedback on what you like about the podcast, uh, what things you could, you know, hey, I could do without that. I don't I don't need that. Maybe I'm wasting energy on things that that we don't need to do, uh, but. Uh, Five minute flips are going to keep coming uh, as as uh, as they come to mind. Uh, I do have three that I just put up uh, recently in the last couple of weeks that you may have missed. One on if you've made Jesus your King, some implications of that. Uh, one of them on my thoughts on the uh, He Gets Us TV ads about Jesus, uh, Super Bowl ads that people have been commenting on and talking about. So I gave my reflections there, uh, and then hope in a hopeless world. Uh, talking about some of the just tragedies going on in our world and and how we keep hope in that. So those are the types of things we do on Five Minute Flips. And so uh, check check that out. Hey, y'all. I recorded something extra after the episode that I forgot that I wanted to add. I, re- I added it in just like I'm doing now. And I, I realized somehow something wasn't plugged in and it didn't record on the nice mic, the, the mic. So it recorded, I think, just on the the laptop mic, and it sounds bad. So I'm just warning you, it's going to sound bad for like eight minutes. It's it's fine. It just sounds different, and I'm annoyed. 
uh, but I can't re-record it. I don't have it in me. <laughs> and so you're going to get it right now, and then it's going to cut back uh, into sounding smooth and buttery like this uh, because it'll go back to the nice mic, uh, which was the original, the original recording. So I do apologize for that. Okay, full disclosure, flip upon am I. I'm editing this in. I'm adding this in. So awkward, awkward edit in. I just got done and I forgot I wanted to mention while you're waiting for for the flip side to come back with full episodes. I I first started podcasting in March the 3rd, 2015. That was my first episode. That's crazy. That was uh seven years ago, almost exactly to the day. And so I can't listen to those early episodes. I just, it's cringy to me. Like maybe they're good. I don't know. I, my first episode ever, I interviewed Ken Weitzema. He's a friend that I I met on a a missions trip and we've stayed in touch. He's a a well-established author. He's written a lot of books and founded the Justice Conference. If Anyone's familiar uh, with that? It's not around anymore, but well, I should say it's not around in the same in the same way uh, anymore. But my point is, uh, you can go back into the archives, and there are there are we we've done seventy eight flip side episodes, uh, but prior to the flip side, I think the flip side is like my fourth or fifth iteration of podcasting, and so I I have all of my old podcasts. Almost all of them are on the same feed. And so basically, uh, you should be able to find them on any, I don't know how many episodes like Apple Podcasts keeps on there. Uh, But if you go to podbean.com, you will certainly find all of them. I'm not sure how many there are because it's not showing me here. But there's a lot, uh, probably 150 or so episodes total. And so... uh, you know, some notable people that I interviewed on that first that first podcast, uh, Ruth Haley Barton. If uh, you read Ruth's books, uh, she's uh, wonderful when it comes to spiritual formation. You can you can check that out. I uh, interviewed some athletes and some musicians you can check out. And uh, also, as you go into uh, Shane Claiborne is a name you may have heard. Uh, John Perkins, I got to interview Dr. Perkins, who is a faith hero of mine. And uh, that first uh, podcast was called Beyond, uh, sorry, Beyond, Behind, Behind the Curtain. And it was about ministry authenticity. And so you can check that out. I also have a podcast on there called Black and White Theology that I did with my friend, Pastor Tyler St. Clair. And we talked about race as well as theology. So there's a bunch of those on there. And then if you're a fan of Beyond the Battle and or you want more content around sexual purity, pornography, sex, marriage, singleness, I did a podcast for a while just on Beyond the Battle. It was called the Beyond the Battle podcast. It was really good. Uh, I did how many episodes? We got through 12 episodes and I just got bored talking about the same subject over and over. And when you talk about sex and porn and it's serious it's hard to do a Noah's rant you know after that or just be silly and so anyway there's 12 episodes there though uh on the same feed and I highly recommend diving deep uh into those as a supplement to your reading uh of the Beyond the Battle book of course all these are free uh all you should have to do is open up your podcast feed and scroll back and you'll find them if not you can get them at podbean.com uh, and then of course all the uh the 70 70- Eight now flip side uh, podcasts that we've done. We've talked a ton about your identity in Christ. We've talked about shame. We've talked about suicide. We've talked about uh, LGBTQ plus a lot. We've talked about sexuality. We've talked about racial justice. Uh, we've talked about you know racism, systemic racism. Just so much stuff on here. There's a lot of good stuff that I'm sure you missed. And so just go back through the uh, the 78. There's some um, a little bit of sports on here. George Floyd uh, interviewed my brother, Patrick, <laughs> talked about social media. I've interviewed Preston Sprinkle twice on the flip side. One was on politics and polarizing issues. Another was on transgender identities. I uh, talked 
with uh, Todd A. Wilson about his book uh, that was about sexuality as well. David Swanson on Rediscipling the White Church, uh, talking about racial justice and his subtitle from cheap diversity to true solidarity um let's see mike whitmer is on here wesley hill who is a celibate single gay uh pastor and a prolific author uh who has helped many many celibate gay christians uh really enjoyed that interview with wesley Lori krieg uh in a similar vein uh Lori is in a mixed orientation marriage and identifies uh, not as straight and talks about, um, you know, her journey. And, and her, her and her husband have a book called Impossible Marriage that's super, super good. Uh, interviewed Nate Larkin, Samson Society, Kevin Butcher uh, did an episode on sex. Terrence Lester on proximity with the marginalized. Nate Collins, another kind of big name in the single gay Christian world uh, or mixed orientation marriage world. These are gay Christians trying to live out the traditional biblical view of, of sex and marriage. Uh, check that out. Chase Stancil and I have done a bunch of episodes together. Uh, gentrification and redlining, critical race theory, white privilege. Uh, we hit it. We hit all of them. Um, then I did my story. Those were pretty well listened to. I think the best listened to episodes that I have. So go back to episode 60, I did part one of my story, uh, Porn and Sex. I did part two of my story, Depression, that was episode 62. And part three of my story, Racial Justice, episode uh, 63. Got to interview Dr. Robert Chow Romero on Five Centuries of Latina Latino, Social Justice, Theology, and Identity. That was super enlightening. One of the smartest people I've ever talked to, and I learned just a whole, whole bunch. Uh, abortion and gun control. Uh, I interviewed Jack Seitzma about being, a, uh, he's a local pastor here in Grand Rapids, friend of mine, being a gay, same-sex attracted pastor in a mixed orientation marriage. His sermon in episode 67, that's the best sermon talk I've ever heard on uh, LGBTQ plus um, the topic, you know, as a whole. And, 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 uh, it's really, really good. I encourage you to to listen to episode 67. Uh, episode 68, talked about the rise and fall of Mars Hill, Hillsong Exposed, a um, bunch of other good stuff in here to check out some of my more recent episodes you might be more uh, more familiar with. Uh, Michelle Sanchez on Color Courageous Discipleship, Laura Taro on Church Planting as a Woman Pastor, Ron Sanderson on Having Autism, and Doing Ministry. Mark Dennison on sexual addiction recovery. Just a whole bunch of good stuff. So I hope, I don't know, hope that was interesting to you. Some of you are like, why'd you add that in? That was boring. Well, I'm just letting you know. So I'm telling you the menu. There's a whole lot to listen to. And honestly, I, I uh, those, those interviews, they're a lot of work. I appreciate the people that put their time in to be interviewed. And so if you missed any of those, uh, go back through. And at the very least, you can listen to some of my really early episodes and make fun of me. That is totally fine. I may need to go back and listen to episode, uh, the first episode I did with Ken Weitzema and make fun of myself, probably with how insecure I was and how many times I said, um, and like, and, uh, that'll be fun. So that's it. That's all I got. Cut back to, uh, the previously recorded, your previously recorded entertainment. Here we go. I'd ask you to pray for me. Um, pray for Mosaic. Pray as I kind of evaluate if there's things there that I can raise up other leaders to do. I really I really uh I really believe in team-based ministry. And so that's something I'm thinking about. Pray for this uh I have a a book uh proposal out. I shared this with my Patreon uh Patreon givers sort of as an exclusive a couple months ago that I've submitted a, a daily devotional book uh, to Our Daily Bread. It's on the Psalms. It's called Shelter in the Storm. And have received some promising uh, reply on that. I should, I guess, hesitate to share that publicly because those, uh, those can be taken away in a blink of an eye. It just takes one committee meeting and they, they pull the plug for, from the, the one person who liked it initially. Uh, but I'm just asking you to pray. As a, as a listener, 
because uh, that's certainly something as I discern even, you know, long term calling stuff on writing and podcasting plays a role in that. Pray for our beyond the battle stuff. Pray for new humanity and uh, just for just for wisdom on what part am I to do? I know my strengths. I am acutely aware of my weaknesses, and uh, and one of them is just the reality that I've got too much, too much going on right now. So uh, I appreciate your support. I appreciate your your prayer. Uh, your Patreon giving is extremely helpful. So thank you to those. Uh, shout out before I sign off to Angry Brew. I uh, I've got my Angry Brew here today. And I uh, just want to mention again, thank you to their sponsorship. You can go to fivelakes.com or angrybrew.com, pick up a bag of Angry Brew or Chris's Blend, and you'll get 10% off your order if you use promo code FLIP. So I'll make sure on my five-minute flips to give a shout-out to Angry Brew during the sabbatical as well. Uh, very appreciative of their support. And I'll wrap up there. Uh, think about your own self-care. As you're, as you're able to, uh, think about your own commitments as you're able to, and uh, know that you are enough, that you don't have to perform, you don't have to do uh, things to get God's approval. If you are his son or daughter, if you're a believer in Jesus, you are, you are our father's child, and you're a co-heir with Christ, and he loves you so much. And he approves of you. He approves of you right now. You're holy. You're fully complete. Uh, you don't have to strive. He loves you. And so rest. If you're in a place where you're not experiencing rest, uh, rest. Rest. And so I will sign off there. Uh, thank you so much for listening. And stay tuned on the audio podcast for 5-Minute Flips. And... Prayerfully discerningly, I will be back with uh, episode 79 at some point, and I will see you then on the flip side. The flip side with Noah Philippia is a Beyond Ministries production. Copyright Noah Philippia. www.noahphilippiac.com. Theme music by Kyle Lake at K Lake Music. Used with permission. Please leave a review on Apple Podcasts and subscribe wherever podcasts are found. It's time to bring me closer. There's no purgatory because you're in or you're out. When you see them in the clouds, then you know it's going down. Raise them, raise them, raise them. They've been sleeping for some ages. Now all God's babies so confused by this hatred. Poor pit preachers shouldn't aim to be A-list. Money probably long, but short is with your days. You ain't